salad in a glass and uh, we were able to get the recipe and it is on our website if you want to check it out so uh, um, at the ultimate Bloody Mary that's for sure talk about spicing things up what about changing up your hair a little bit doing something different well Deb from Grassroots Salon Deb Gerke our, our good friend has some fun ideas something different to do with your hair take a look Well, we are here today to show you some really fun and cool ways that you can take your do that you're currently working with and transition it into a longer style and not have it have to feel like a pain to do it. It's all about keeping it easy and keeping it simple. So Ann Yao is with me here this morning. And Ann, you've worn your hair kind of in a shorter bob for a while. Yep. And you're looking to grow the length a little bit but still maybe keep a little bit of layers and keep some fringe kind of bang section in the front, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. So what we noticed when we looked at Anne's hair was that her layers currently, and she's been working on growing it out for a little bit, um, so her, her bob length has come down on the bottom, but the last time she had it cut, they did go ahead and give her some pretty short layers on the top. Now, the reason Anne probably asked for these layers, yes? Yes. Because she wanted to have a little bit more fullness on the top. And that will work, but only if the other layers that are in the haircut support the shorter layers that are on top. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, yeah, but if I layer it like crazy, am I really growing my hair out? And the answer is yes, you're growing your hair out with layers. So what sometimes happens is the layers that are on the top, if they get cut too short, and then all of the lengths that are in this part are long, coming down to the bottom. Basically, your idea for getting short layers here to give you a little bit more volume and height, it tends to just fall flat because these layers are too long and they don't support that. So what we're going to do with Anne's hair today is just go in and very easily and quickly take out some of the length of the layers that are in between. If you can, you can even see when I hold this out that it goes from short to long and back to short again. So there's too much bulk in these interior layers and by taking that out it's going to support her fullness that she's looking for on the top while also allowing her to get the length on the bottom. And these kind of layers will not make the bottom too thin. It's a great way to do it. All right, we've finished putting in the layers the way that we wanted to so that it would help Anne as it's growing out and also still give her the fullness that she's looking for. And we also added some really great face framing, just little razored soft pieces around the front and added a little tiny bit more fringe to the top than what she had. She kind of only had it just a little, a small little section here and we added some layers so that she could bring this forward and have a fuller bang if she wants to and she still can push it all off to the side. So it looks quite lovely, and now we're going to be blow drying and showing you what a difference that makes with her layers. back and Anne has her newly updated transitioning growing out haircut. Don't think that when you're trying to grow out a style that there's absolutely nothing you can do. You just have to let it grow out and you know whatever happens in the meantime happens. There's always a way to let your hair grow out into another style with ease and grace. And if you've got layers on the top that are too short, which is where Anne sort of started out, the layers were out of proportion. Her layers up here were too short for what was happening down here. So just by, I'm going to give you a little spin here Anne. 
Just by adding more layers through the interior section between the top short layers and where her length is on the bottom, you can see that she's got a lot more support of fullness and it's just more proportionate. It looks nicer. The layers are more evenly proportioned throughout as she's growing it. And then, of course, I couldn't help myself. I had to add just a little bit of nice fringe around Anne's face. I think it looks soft and bangs are super hot right now. So she had to have some. What do you think, Anne? Like it. All right. Awesome. Thank you.